is Dear Shu Mishnabura, Simon Aleph, Sif Gimel through Hey. And we're going to start with Sif Gimel. For those who are wondering the schedule, it's an Amida day, but the precise breaks, Dear Shu breaks up beautifully. We'll be posting the schedule for those who do not have it in the uh, information on the YouTube and on the podcast. And you can just find it anywhere online. So today is Sif Gimel, Dalit, and Hey until the Ramah in Sif Hey. So we start in Sif Gimel. It says the Mechaber, Roi Lechol Yari Shamayim. It is fitting for everyone who fears heaven. She Mitzar vidoyig that he should be distressed, that he should feel bad. Al Khurban Besa Migdash over the destruction of the Besa Migdash. And of course, this really piggybacks off of what we saw yesterday that the night is split up into three portions, the Chatzais and the two other thirds in which one should utilize those times for the Chorban Beis HaMikdash as we mentioned at Tikkun Chatzais. And now we're going to discuss this at length as we scroll down to the Mishnah Bura Sif Katan Tess. Says the Mishnah Bura Rayul Choladam, this is the beginning of the very wide lines. And the Mikubalim, those who delve in esoteric works, delve, delve discuss the length, the Milo, the advantage of getting up at Chatzais, because it is great. And then he continues and explains with our Nitzvah B'Sidurim, who's ready, printed in the Sidurim, Sidur and Hagal, P. Kisri Arizal, the way to say Tigin Chatzais based on the Arizal. And now the Mishnah tells us when is this time? Of Chatzais. So you should get up at Chatzais and say Tikkun Chatzais. Don't worry, the Mishnah himself is going to explain in a few moments the reason why many, if not most people nowadays, do not. But continues the Mishnah on the second line, who's Man Chatzais, who Tamir Bem Sois Alayla is constantly in the middle of the night, Mamish, Shmikol Makam at every place, Vafilu Blayla Ruchais, even in the long nights like the winter, Oyak Sarais, the short nights like the summer, the Yud Be Shois Acher Chatzayah. And that's 12 hours after the middle of the day. And of course, this is a rather large machloikas, as if you want to peek down at the Sharti and he quotes to you, this is not like the Magan Avram and other Baiskim as well. This is not the discussion for right now, but says Mishtabura Chatzais, smack in the middle of the night. And the Mishtabura continues, Vaislis Ainan al Khurban, it's the time to cry out of the Khurban, Nachin Yaisashi Kainim Chatzais Mat. It's even better that what should you do? You should say you're taking Chatzais a little bit before Chatzais, and then Umi Chatzais Vailach from Chatzais and onward. You shall learn Taira. For the rest of the night, at the end of the night, then you should ask Hashem for your needs. And there are those that say then, and let's say it's getting close to Nate, so you don't have time to say all the different Bakasha is all different to him. Part of thinking Chatzai. So what should you do? Say just the Mizmarim, the Yedaliga Kinnis, and skip the Kinnis. And then see Shemla Baikir so that you could get up to that you could get up to Shmanasrei with Neitzachama. V'achar atikin shira mishnayis koydim lechol davar. And after you say tikin chatzayis, what's the first limud? Shear of mishnayis. Vim zocha. We'll talk about that in one moment. Vim zocha lechachmas ames. Is he who's kula ma'ayid? And after this whole lengthy endeavor, they're saying this tikin chatzayis. You're zayicha. This is the greatest time. It's masugal ma'ayid to ask for your needs. Before we continue the mishtabura, let's take a moment to pause. To go over to the deer shoe over here, deer shoe number 24, he explains about the Mailas Liman Mishnayis, the incredible act of learning Mishnayis. He quotes the Sefer Likutia Marim, that's the Chavetz Chaim, that he says every person should know all Caesar should enjoy Mishnah. Why? Because that has the Ikr, the mainstay of the entirety of the Torah, and that's certainly going to be one of the things they're going to ask a person after 120 years in the ultimate test. And to point out, no one less than Ramesha Feinstein himself, we all know, used to learn. Mishnayis every single day when he wrapped up his tefillin. So, you don't need Ramesh's Askama, the Chavetz Chaim already writes it, and this is in reference to our Mishra Bura that just taught us that we, the first thing you should do is that Shira Mishnayis. Now, continues the Mishra Bura on the fifth wide line, Vachreinim Kiblu, Mishichvi Adkumi, then the Achreinim explained that from the time period called Shichvi until Kumi, which we'll see what that is in one moment, Hainu, what is that? Mishvuis from Shavuis, which is when Shaimrim Shichvi, Ad Tishba of Shaimrim Kumi, Eitzar Lakam Balayel, you don't have to get up in the middle of the night, Vyesh Shaimrim, and some say Metuba of Atuba Iyo, 
Yisher, Yakum, you should yes, get up. And those who are Noyig Alpi Kabbalah, which nowadays are really only those who say Tegin Chatzais, Saivin Zarek Lakum Tamid, you should always get up and say Tegin Chatzais. Continues the Mishnah Bura, Chaburish and Ischabru Yachal, learn Tegin Chatzais, a group that gets together to learn Tegin Chatzais, Betzibur, A Limanam, don't stop them. It's even greater to learn and to say Tilim and to Davin with the multitude of people. And he continues and says, with Yezish Shamru is a as a taken face a kness that's even greater to say it in shul mishamru mecheder than to say it in the side room a samachlai why a good important rule to face a kness says kaddish tfei in the basic kness says kedusha something that we have to hear there's been many minyanim outside of about the kinesiyos but right away the mishabru points out that the basic kness says has inherent kedusha and that aids one's tfila the gamshim asaris vishayim and also one should be for the then if he says taking chatzos and he's learning the whole night he'll be one of the first ten people at the minion. And he continues and wants to be very, very careful with saying Dvarim Betilim to sing idle matters throughout the night because the night is the time that's misugal, that's greatest for learning. And here it is. Says the Mishtabura, let's say one can't get up. One can't get up so early. Machmas, why? Shuchalsh Betiva, he's weak. Or she a day about he might not be weak, but he knows about himself. Shimyakum Bashmiris, if he gets up early, what's gonna happen? We all know what's gonna happen. Ye Ashin Bezat feel he's gonna fall asleep during davening. Then what? Mut of it is better. Li Shin call at Sayyrah to sleep as much as you need. However, when we call Makaim, ye Zayir Ma'id, be very careful. Lakum Shah to get up an hour, Lapakh's Khat, he sure a half hour could increase the shamish for the shamish calls you to dive in the basic and says, Why? Something we'll talk about in letters. Simanim tishiyachal lahachen atzma to prepare yourself to spell with zebra mnekias to daven properly. So so many items over here in the Mishnah Bura. Let's swing over to the deer shoe. Deer shoe number twenty five. He tells us what's the reason one should be careful about talking idle matters at night. He quotes from later on in Simon Rish Lamaches that the night is a time of learning. And this goes back to something we spoke about on the first day, in which we said that the nighttime is not the time for Chomish. Chomish is for daytime. The nighttime is for Mishnais and for Gemara. And then we mentioned that one is allowed to learn Chomish during the night. And now the Mishnah Bura continued and the deer shoe quotes if you can can't get up. Why? Because you are weak. Just to point out, he's referring particularly here to Tikkun Chatzais. However, this goes back to what we said on day one. The Mishnah Bura, the Machaber, and the first Sif taught us, you should get up, you should be Ma'ayra the Shachar. And we said then that we'll see here that if one can't, if you can't get up so early, and this applies there also. If one's going to fall asleep during the evening, if one's not going to be able to function throughout the day, then he can sleep as much as he needs. And says the dear Shuvir, how much does one need to sleep? An age-old question. So he begins by quoting the Magen Avram that says there's no such rules. Everyone has to sleep as much as they need, as much as their body needs. That's the Magen Avram. And he quotes the Gemara in Tanajim, but be careful, you never want to sleep too much. And then he continues quoting the doctor. Which doctor? The Rambam. He says that the Rambam says, how much sleep do you need? Eight hours. And the Tzvaris Yisrael, before we get there, and that happens to be nowadays, many doctors concur with the Rambam, and he also quotes the Stipler, that says seven hours, and many doctors say 17 hours. That is the optimal sleep of one needs. But the Tzvaris Yisrael points out that only until you get to 50, don't you be nervous. Once you get to 50, you can sleep 5 or 6 hours. And of course, this is the optimal. This is what one perhaps should strive. Many people do not. But that is how much sleep one should get. And we continue in the Mishnah Bura, Sivkat and Yod. Says Mishnah Bura, yes, you should be sad. You should mourn the destruction. We don't have the base on Migdash. Hashem doesn't have his house. But when you're learning, you have to be happy. We'll see you, the dear Shem one more moment. Let's just finish up the Siv. Says the Mishnah Bura. You're supposed to say, what's the main? Everything goes by Kavana, a very, very important rule, which we'll see more in Siftalid in a moment. It's running late, but let's take one more minute. Let's go back to the Deer Shoe. An important Deer Shoe, number 27, says the Deer Shoe, what does it mean? You should always be happy when you learn. So he quotes, If do as Hashem b'simcha. Look, he's quoting Yishalqarach Harav, not necessarily a pasuk anywhere. 
But then he continues, and he says, but what's the reason when you learn, what's the reason when you dive and you should be happy? The reason is, so one reason is because a depressed soul, nothing goes into the depressed soul. Only a happy is open and expansive. But he quotes over here from the Ruach Chaim, Ruach Chaim Palaji, something fascinating. He says that when we dive and he quotes the Chazal, that Tfilah is greater than Karbanais. And the Gemara Menachah says, learning Torah is greater than Karbanais. So says Ruach Chaim Palaji, beautiful. When you're davening, when you're learning, you're in the base of Mikdash. The whole reason to be sad is because we don't have a Beis HaMikdash, but you're davening, you're learning. It's as if you're in the Beis HaMikdash, it's as if you're bringing the Karbanais. Absolutely beautiful. That's the reason why one should and has to be Besimcha. And just one more, the, Mish- the Deir Shuavir in 28 says that if you're eating on Arab Shabbos, uh, bread, you also say Shiramalos because you don't say Tachlan at the time. Of course, you have to be careful not to have too large of a Suda. And then he says, but if you're, the reason why you don't say Tachlan is because of a bris milah, because of a wedding, then, and you have your own meal, then you would say, Al Naraiz Bavel. Now we go back to Sif Dalit, back to the Machaber. Toiv Ma'ad Tachanunim, such an important rule, says the Machaber in Sif Dalit. It's very good, a little bit, with supplication, with heart, with Kavana, be Kavana, Mehar Bais Belay Kavana, more than, better than much, without Kavana. Let's just begin Sif Hey, and then we'll see the Mishnah Buras together. Toiv Leimar, Bar Sakeda, Bar Saman, Vaser Zadibros, one should say, he says it's toif. Be careful. He doesn't say it's a chiyav. We'll get to that later. But it's a good thing to say that. Kedo bar samana says the difference every day. Parshas oila mincha shlam milchatos va'ashem. This is where we end for today. But let's go to the Mishnah Bura. Says Mishnah Bura. Sifkatan yod beis b'loik avana avol says Mr. Bura im hamar be kivin kamkin hamar be toiv yaiser if you could do both if you could have kavana and tzilat that's the best v'im hamemayit yish la'ines v'in yachal arich if you're not able to say all the all the extra tefillahs oishu mashayir bas but you know yourself sheim yarich lo yichavim liboy yachal chavim which many people know you're just gonna end up mumbling umemayit b'dachanunim v'oimer be kavana you say less and you'll have Kavana, nechshav lefnei Hashem Yisparach. It's as if in front of God, k'moy oisa yishish lepenai yomarak tachlun v'chavana. It's as if you said all of it with kavana. Incredible. Valzeshen inu echamar v'echamamit. On this, it was learned whether you say a lot or a little. Bilvach yichavin libel shmayim. As long as you have kavana to have him. V'chelin in Talmud Torah, the same thing in Inkain. Ki akol talu the Hashem Yisparach and oisa kol asher bekoi choy lasois. Such important rule says Mishtabura even in Torah. If you can't learn a lot, but you learn a little bit and you understand it well, that's beautiful. But be careful. You have to do whatever is bekoi chay lasais. I think as we start Shulchan Aruch together, many people probably push themselves to take out an extra seed during the 10, 15 minutes. Learn this. If it's bekoi chay, if you could do it, then you have to do it. You have to continue. Mishu ba'al tayra v'yishu lev and if you're ba'al tayra and you have a heart to understand, the lumen, it's learn. Yochelim noya milay mahar b'tachon is bakash. Then you don't have to say all the extra tefillahs and the fuzz b'sh zadurim. That's in the zadurim. Why? is even greater. And he says, but be careful, always learn Moser every day, each and every day, and I guess it's the time to do the plug for Dear Shoes Moser Seder that you're supposed to learn together with the Seder. If you're greater than your friend, you eat Tahara is greater than him. So the more you learn Tahara, the greater you get. Make sure you learn Moser. What's the antidote to the Tahara? What we're all looking for in this world, my Mari Chazal, is the Teichach of Chazal, is the Musr that Chazal have taught us. And then we continued in Sefei and we said, Toif, it's good to say, Par Saikeda, Koydin Par Skarbanos, this is Sifkot and Yud Gimel, and Mishtaburah, V'yachalayim, Par Saikeda, Par Saman, Afilu B'Shabbos, you can see the Minah Shabbos, Ve'ein Dai Ba'amira, Ela, it's not enough just to say it, very important, says the Mishtaburah, Ela, she is boinin mashuayim, you should think about what you're saving, V'yakir, and realize Niflois Hashem, the greatness of God, V'chem Hashem, R'gemar, K'loyim, R'tilu, Davi, Gimel, Pam, and we all know you see Ashri three times a day. What happens? It's not just if you mumble the words. You have to understand what you're saying. Why do we say these feelings? Because by that case, they listen to the Avais. So you remember the Schos of the Avais every day. And as well, to make yourself low. As Yitzchak Avinu sacrificed himself. Why do we say that every day? Not just 
on the special days, but every day people say it. That everything Hashem gives us. Every day we get a lesson. As it says by the man, whether you took a lot of money or a little bit of money, it didn't make a difference. Everyone got whatever they needed. You know what it teaches us? Doing too much is tablets. We have to do is tablets. You have to work. You got to make a burn out. But doing too much, that doesn't do anything for you. That's why we say Bar Saman every day. You'll not decrease your mezainos, your money. Vaseres that Debra says, "Well, why do you say they should yischa b'chol yoyim?" Maimon Arsina, to remember the Maimon Arsina, it's also one of the sheish. Zechirois, Vizchazik and Munos of Hashem, and to have a Munan Hashem who bars the Carbonois, to Amin of Menachis, or Tars, the Chatos, Kolosik, Batayro, Chatos, Keilu, and Krav Chatos. Why do you say all the Carbonois? Because as if you brought the Carbonois by saying the Carbonois.